Hello Autobots and Decepticons, my name is Soulmongry and I'd like to welcome you back to Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark on the Nintendo 3DS. And guess what? I remembered to turn the volume down. Yes! So now it is not going to be a pain in the crankshaft to edit. Booyah! Anyways, Mission 15, Autobots. The Autobots pursue Bruticus as he flees with their comrade, Cliffjumper. Well, say it ain't so. He be carrying him like a rag doll, whacking him around, putting him in a doll house, making him wear a little dress. He look pretty, but he don't like it too much. No way, no how. Anyways, here we go. Bruticus on the run, part one. Cliff jumper. Prime, they've got Cliff jumper and the Doc Spock. What's the plan? We get Cliff. I see it. That we do, RC. But we also get the dark spark. We cannot lose sight of the larger mission. So, two missions then? Oh, that's new. I hate to stop the music, but you do see all those Decepticons, right? The plan is simple. Destroy all Decepticons. Rescue our friend. Retrieve the dark spark. With me. One thing at a time, I suppose. Let's bust some deceptive chops. Oh yeah. So I don't think we got anyone new. We had Prime. What can we equip? We have Steel Jaw. We also have Eject. Alright, let's put it on. We might as well use everything we got uh, for each character. Yeah, we've been using these guys already. We haven't been Autobots for a long time. It's been a, at least a minute. I hate that phrase, but it's been at least a minute. Yes, I use it. Oh, we have a bunch of stuff we can put on here. Let's put something on RC. Luck shield? Sure. Why not? We always pick those up. What is this? Reflex shield? Sure. Why not? Jazz, you get those scraps. The max dampener. Woo! You get nice and wet with that. It is like going to the water park. Oh, yeah. Transformers love water. It's just what I heard. You know what I thought of? And it's kind of weird. I, I was thinking of Age of Extinction. And I was like, how can Michael Bay make this a little bit different? I was like, why not just throw in an epic water scene where, like, the Transformers transform into, like, a boat? I know it would be a little bit different, but I could see him doing that because he just does anything he kind of wants anyways. So, I don't see why he didn't do that. Oh, no, wait. Oh, okay, I can hack with RC. I'm going to hack this garage. Oh, that's nice. It repairs us all. Optimus can't travel too far. He's got a big chassis. We're gonna go get this with him then. And finish. And Jazz, let's boogie. But I thought like an action scene on the water with Transformers would have been pretty cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I think it would have been pretty cool. All right, let's go over here with Jazz. We'll start it out by fighting the Deceptic creeps over there. We got the base drop. I haven't used that yet. I do want to use that when they're around me. See what that does. Oh yeah, Jazz. Alright, so we got Scatter. I haven't seen that yet, and we got Charge Shot with Jazz. Jazz is very cool. I'm so happy that they didn't like mess him up at all through the Transformers series. I know they got rid of him in Michael Bay's Transformers, but I don't even count that. And he's got the Cheap Shot, so I love it. Love it a lot. Single fire. No ray. Oh, he's got Megatron's gun. What is with all the Autobots having Megatron's gun? It's like the developer in this game didn't know that that was supposed to be Megatron with the throwback blaster. Weird. Time to bring down the house. Time to bring down the house, Jazz. Cheap shot. What, what? Walk up like a boss. Booyah. What up now? Drop the base. And we do have a charge shot available. Go ahead and use it. Nice. Get blasted by the Dark Lord. What? No response? Come on, yeah, no response, bro. He be dead, Jazz. He be dead. Alright, so we got Hound over here. You want to talk this out? Me. No talking needed. Time to punch it out. 
I love Hound's attitude in this. I just love it. I love how he's just always like, another one bites the rust, and another one gone, and another one gone. Another one bites the rust. Love that. Uppercut. Booyah! Representing with the critical hits. Oh, yeah. Nice. So we have drop kick and head crack available next turn, which is right now. And then we can just bring our Autobots back and they can repair themselves at the little repair station, which would be nice. Let's use drop kick on this guy right away. Oh, yeah. Took off a lot. Let's finish him off with lunge. Oh, I missed it. Shoot. He's going to get another hit in. Oh, he missed. Ha, 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 ha. Nice. And a boy hound. It's gonna take more than that. I love how he, like, does the Superman. You know, where, like, Clark Kent would open up his suit and then the S would be revealed. I love that. All right. We are going to go ahead and finish this guy off real quick. Then we're going to use RC to hack. Got 14 uppercut should do. Booyah, hound. Oh, every time, huh? Doesn't get old. Hound's that Superman. All right, I'm gonna go down here with Jazz. Yeah, I'm gonna go down here with. Wait, make sure Prime can reach him. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go down here with Jazz and pick this up. 50 energon, nice. Okay, Prime, your time to shine. Oh, he's got range attack. Ah, let's just use regular. We're right there, so whatever. Let us finish this. Yes, let us finish this. Plus, it's nice to use the range attack. Or not the range attack, the up close attack, so that you can get points towards like heavy punch, uppercut, charge shot, and pistol whip. That to be done, soldier. Nice job, Prime! I thought we could be G1 Prime in this, so I made the thumbnail the G1 Prime. We haven't been able to do that yet. All right, hack it, RC. And I think it's at 100%. I'm not really too worried about any of these except the kind of recon soldiers. And I'm not exactly sure. Are we supposed to be doing something other than just kind of chilling? I think we're just chilling. I'm going to pick this up. Nano deflector. Booyah. Real nice. I'm going to drive back over here with Jazz so that he can repair. We're going to go back with Prime as well. And... Yep, we're finished with her. What's her super alertness? Okay. So she doesn't have a range attack. I wonder if this will heal me right here. If it doesn't, that's okay. Let's go, RC. Let's go, baby girl! All right, what do we got? Spin kick. I want to get those last couple things done. I don't know when we unlock them. Get the heavy punch. Oh, come on. How hard does it hit A? Just staring at our metal buns again, you know. Miss out on the button tap. And we're gonna have single fire available. Nicely done. Ooh, uppercut. Actually took off quite a bit. Ooh, another attack on RC. We got this. Should we, we probably can just get him with the heavy punch. Just make sure. I don't want to take any more damage. That a girl. This guy doesn't know what's gonna hit him. She's gonna come in like a wrecking ball. I'm gonna use the drop kick. Booyah! Real nice. A single fire should be enough. Nice. That a girl. It's weird that in like all these episodes, 
Slipstream and RC fight the most for me. And Soundwave. It's funny how that works out. Let's just pistol whip this guy. Ooh, yeah. Heavy Punch should take him out. I don't know if I want to take a chance. We're going to go with Spin Kick. Nice. And you got lots of skill, girl. And you're welcome for always looking at her butt because I pointed that out. You're welcome out there. Let's go, Prime. You didn't say anything. I want you to say something, Prime. I need some words of motivation coming from the great Peter Cullen. Come on. Let's give this guy the uppercut. This wouldn't even be a fight. It'd be like one hit and Prime would destroy this guy. If this was true to Autobot history, Transformers history, I guess, in general. I take no satisfaction from this. <laughs> okay. No satisfaction. Got it, Prime. More soldiers. Lots of soldiers. Wow. Okay. We're going to move RC right here. Move Prime right here. We're going to use a range attack. Nicely done. And we're going to get a healing from Jazz. Actually, I'm going to repair RC. We're going to play this one a little bit slower. I probably don't need to. But I'm just not exactly sure if I should or not. What does this do? We're going to hack this. Nice. There's just a lot of Decepticons. And I don't know if there's going to be another wave of them or not. Alright, move forward. I wish you could skip them moving. Ah, you're going to attack Prime. <laughs> oh, I needed a laugh. Thank you. Let's give him the pistol whip. That would be hilarious if Prime was using the throwback blaster. And heavy punch should do. Damn. You chose the wrong side. Yes, he did. Attacking Prime again? <laughs> yeah. Your buddy did so well. Let's see how you do. 24, uppercut. Booyah. Nicely done, Prime. I don't even know if it's worth hacking those, in all honesty. Alright, do we have... We don't have range. So I'm just going to go ahead and attack. Take this guy with Hound. Let's go, Hound. Yeah, I feel like this game needed something more. Like, it needed another element to these battles. Drop kick. Ooh, yeah, Hound. Damn, my favorite saying. Because all I have to do is really press A. I know I am playing on easy because I didn't want to have to replay things. This would be a better game if you were just playing it just for fun and not recording it like I am. Because then you could kind of just play on hard and it would actually be a challenge. All right, we're bringing in RC here. You sure you don't want to call for backup? Yeah, he's going to need backup. He has it behind us, though. Drop kick. Nice. And single fire should do. Oh, that didn't hurt me at all. Did it miss? No, I wasn't looking. Nice. I always wondered why she had those, like, things sticking out of her back. It looks cool from the front, but it doesn't look that cool from the back. That's just my opinion. Let me know what some of you guys think about that, you dedicated RC fans out there. No, I don't want to finish. I want a range attack. Shoot. First mistake of the day. Super. Yeah, let's try it out. Did that do anything? Did that hurt them at all? Just used 200 Energon for the base drop. I don't think it did anything. Let's go, Prime. Charge shot. Boom. Had to be done, soldier. Nice. 
One hit, one dead Decepticon. Right, pistol whip. That was close. With a heavy punch. Make sure we finish him. Boom. Nice. Now Prime is cleaning house. He'll take you all on. We got a head crack. Nice. Crack him right in the head. I wish that would be a headbutt. That'd be way more epic. We'll go with the uppercut. Ooh, yeah. And another one gone. Alright, so Hound just dominated. Finish this guy with Prime. Got an uppercut available. I don't think that will finish him. Nope, half. About half. Got a heavy punch. Nice. And then single fire might do this. But I don't think I'm going to take the chance. I'm going to do the pistol whip. Just to make sure. Nicely done, Prime. Awesome. Alright, let's bring RC down here. Take out this guy with her. Ooh, we got Pistol Whip. Pistol Whip, my C. He's Megatron against him. That a girl. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. You know what? I was just thinking, I wonder why Transformers don't change their colors. Because then they would be more in disguise when they're, like, kind of sneaking or spying on Decepticons. And I would think that'd be something that would be available for each of the Transformers. They should be able to pick their color because they can just scan something and pick that form. So why not just be able to choose the color, right? Right? Unless... You're just like born as a color and you can't change that kind of like humans. I don't know. I'm not really too sure. Let me know what you guys think about that. That's rather interesting though. So what did that base drop do? I don't think that did anything last time. Which stinks. Let me finish this guy with Jazz. Ooh, we almost have enough for Scatter. Booyah! That's how you do that, boy. I want to left. And we can't make it over there, so I'm going to go here and heal. Oh, he's going for Jazz. We got the scatter. Nice. We'll use that right away. Booyah, that was cool. I did miss one of them, but that was pretty cool. Cheap shot for the win. Nice, I like that. No response, <laughs> no response Jazz. Decepticons defeated Optimus. Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, except that one. That thing counts as more than one. Oh no. Look at the size of it. Tiny pest. Watch your backs. Get ready, Autobots. This will not be easy. Mission success. Next time we battle Bruticus. Booyah, sweet. Awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We got rewind. Nice. Cool, cool, great, grand, wonderful. I'll see you guys all next time with more of Transformers on the Nintendo 3DS. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more. Also, click the screen for more awesome videos over at Bro Bras. Have a great day.